<clears throat> we, the AP Calculus class, would like to present this plaque to our teacher. Give me a break. I do more cops than paid customers. Can you believe this? And this guy's reading War and Peace. You think they're waiting in Brentwood? I don't know. Yeah, well, I don't think so. I'm telling you they're the friendly bank. Why are you doing this to me? Here's your choices. You tell us what we need to know. We protect you. What are you, some kind of wise guy? Right? Turn around. Hey, what are you doing? Shut up. You got another watch, No, man? I don't. Yeah, let's take all his clothes off again. Yeah. <laughs> What's in that pocket? Nothing. Nice. The whole piece is all about me wanting to have this relationship with my father, or the man that I call my father. Hi, Maria Luisa. Don't send us out in our home by herself, because if the police are in the street, they're going to put you in jail. <laughs> this ain't none of your business, Fifi. And that's not Fifi. That's her sister. Lulu. Ramona's a madam. Mm -hmm. She sits out there with Fifi, Purita, and all her other girls. <laughs> and Ramona got this glass eye? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she's looking at you or not. <laughs> Let's hear for the very talented Lydia Nicole. Right, so I'm biracial. Mm -hmm. Or for those of you who fill out applications, I'm other. Mm -hmm. I'm half black and half Puerto Rican. Out here, that makes me Mexican. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Your mama's ugly, your daddy's fat. Your sister's got a hump like a camel's back. In school, your brother was a special ed. He wore corrective shoes and got a nappy head. Your head is big and you stink like why You probably end up on the welfare line because you adopted. It looks as if they have to meet the expectation of a white mainstream. They find wiggle room to manifest their talent and for the few, their genius. Everybody knows romance is dead. No, I don't believe that. Some men are still romantic. English, please. And what's wrong with speaking Spanish? Hello? What, are you afraid that they're gonna find out they're Mexicans? Why don't y'all go and take some money from some of them white programs and leave us the hell alone? We are trying to make a difference. What the hell kind of difference are y'all making? Mrs. Inez and Mr. Hollis. They like the mama and the daddy. It became my quest as a fan to answer one question. Why did they break up? You know, the, the Hollywood stuff is, that's the cherry on top, mm -hmm. but it's about your art. We talked about God before, so we gotta bring God into the mix. It's uh, like uh, 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 that word impossible, that if you really break it down, it's I'm possible. Today, we're gonna talk about your worst nightmare. I'm here to give you some tips to make it less stressful. The reality is that you are diverse. You're diverse as an artist in that you're a writer, you're an actor, you're an author, and you're a speaker. That's very mm. Latino. I mean, first of all, it's like... <laughs> in order for us to compete, we have to be seven times better. We have to know seven times how to do it differently than what is expected of a, of, a, of a white, especially of a white actor. As Latinos in the business, it is our responsibility to help everybody, Absolutely. you know? Well, not everybody, let me take that. I ain't helping everybody. <laughs> but to help people who really have the talent, have the, the drive, and are good. You right. know, that, that you want to champion young people. You want to champion people who, they just need the door to be open. If I can do it, so can you. 